Hey everyone, in this video you will learn how to add grappling hooks to your game by using the FS grappling hook asset. So we'll go through all the features that are available in this asset. So let's get started. So here I have a project in which I've installed the grappling hook asset. And I have a sample scene here to demonstrate the use of the grappling hook asset. So in this scene, there are a few objects onto which the player can hook onto. So the player should be able to traverse between these objects using the grappling hook. Right. So let's create a player that can do that. So we do have a simple character creation window with which you can easily create a character that can use grappling hook. So you just have to go to tools, grappling hook and create character. And this will open up the character creation window. Okay. So to this, you just have to drag and drop an FPX model. So let me just use the character model that comes with Unity by default. All right, I'll use this armature model and I'll click on the create character button. And this should create the character for us. All right. So this character should be able to use the grappling hook. So let me just try testing it. So if I look at this object, you can see that it shows an icon that indicates that the player can hook onto this object. All right. And if I press the F key on the keyboard, the player should use the grappling hook to hook and move to that object. All right. So from here, I can hook to any object I want. I just have to aim at that object and this icon will show me to which object I can hook. So one thing I want to show you is if I try to hook onto an object that's at the same height at which I'm standing, then we'll use a different swing action like this. And if the height is different, then we'll use a hook action like this. All right. So this makes it a bit more realistic. And by the way, you can control all this from the inspector. So if I just select the player and go to the grappling hook controller, here we have a property called mode. And from here, we can determine if the player should swing or use the grappling hook or use both of them. All right. And this determines the angle below which the player should swing. Okay. So if you don't want the swing action, you can just make it a grappling hook only. And then even if the object is at the same height, the player will perform this action. Okay. And similarly, if it's swing only, the player will always swing. All right. So, so setting it to both should be the best option for most cases. All right. So another important thing is you can set the layers of the objects onto which the player should be able to use a grappling hook. So right now, if you look at the environment scanner, you can see that the grappling ledge layer is set to default. Okay. So this means the player will be able to hook onto any object that is in the default layer and that has some space on which the player can sit on after using the grappling hook. Okay. But you don't want to give a common layer here because if you do that, the player will be able to hook on to all the objects on the scene. Right. So a good option would be to use a specific layer for this. So here I've created a layer called grappling ledge layer. You can easily create it from the layers window. All right, and you can assign that as the grappling ledge layer. And let me just remove default. Okay, so now the player won't be able to use the grappling hook onto any of these objects because the layers of all these objects are default, right? But if I just change the layer of this to grappling ledge, then the player should be able to use the grappling hook on it. Let me actually 
select all the objects and change their layer to grappling hook. Alright, and now the player should be able to use the grappling hook on it like before. But we have a problem here, so that's because the grappling hook layer is not considered as a ground. So if you select the player in the locomotion controller, we have the ground layer. So in here, we can also select the grappling ledge and the player should be able to stand on it. All right. So just remember that if you use a different layer for grappling ledges, then you also have to add that layer to the ground layer. Only then the player will be able to stand on it. Okay. So yeah, the player is able to hook on to all the objects here. So the next thing that you might want is you might want to add a grappling gun to the player's hand. Okay. So if you played games like Batman, the player uses a grappling gun to shoot the rope and hook onto the objects. Right. So let me show you how you can add something like that. So with the grappling hook asset, we have a gun prefab, which you can use to shoot grappling hooks. So you can use any models of grappling guns that you have. You don't have to use this exact gun. So whichever model you use, you have to attach it to the hand of the player. Okay. So I'll expand the player's bones and I'll find the right hand of the player so here I have the right hand and we have to attach this grappling gun to the right hand okay so you might have to adjust the position of the grappling gun so that it fits correctly on the player's hand but for this player this position works perfectly you'll have to play around with these values and find the position that fits for your player all right so if you look at this gun it has three parts a body a hook object and a shoot point all right so here the hook object and shoot point is really important the hook object is the thing that will go and hook onto the object all right so this will hook onto the object and the shoot point is the point from which the rope will be shot okay so that will be like the start point of the rope so once you add this gun onto the player's hand you have to assign them to the grappling hook controller so here go to the rope settings and in here you have to assign the hook object and the rope start point Okay, so I'll assign the hook object here and the shoot point to the rope start point. Okay, so now you should be able to use the gun to shoot the grappling hooks. So yeah, you can see that I am shooting the grappling hook from the gun and the hook object will go and hook on to the ledge. Okay. It might be hard to see, but the hook object is actually getting shot onto the object and it will hook onto it. Okay. So next let's look at some other settings that you can customize for the grappling hook. So all the settings are inside the grappling hook controller. So from here you can set the input key and you can also add a button from the input manager and assign it here. If you want to use joystick input with the old input system and by the way you can also use the new input system by going to the welcome window enabling the new input system module and once you do that you'll be able to find the input from this input action okay so that's how we set the input and next we have a property called swing only if hook point exist so what this will do is right now when you're swinging it will look for an object to which the grappling hook can be hooked to 
right only then the player should be able to swing but in case if you want the player to swing even if there is no object at the top then you could turn this on okay so if this is turned on the player will swing even if there is no object at the top to which it can hook to so next if you want to customize the throwing animation you can directly assign a new animation to this field and then we have properties like max distance and max swing distance so this determines the distance to which the player should be able to hook onto and this is a distance for swinging okay and then you can also change the speed of the grappling hook move and the swing move by using these properties all right so next let's look at the rope settings that we have so from here we can change things like the radius of the rope its material its throw speed and all that by the way you can't change this when you are playing the game so if i just change the rope throw speed to something like one and if i try hooking you can see that it doesn't change right so this cannot be changed once you run the game you'll have to change it before that so now if i change this to one and try testing you can see that the rope is being thrown at a much slower speed okay so these things has to be changed before you run the game all right let me set it back to four so next we have other properties to control the spiral of the rope so be sure to play with this if you want to change the spiral and we already looked at the rope start point and the hook object this is used to add guns or other kinds of weapons using which you can shoot the grappling hook all right so up next we have camera settings we just have two simple properties here to determine how much the camera should shake if you want to customize the crosshair then you can do it from here you just have to assign a different sprite in here all right up next we have some events which you can use to expand the system so if you want to play some sound while the rope is being released or hooked or something like that you can easily do it by using these events all right so these are the main settings that you have in the grappling hook asset so yeah try to play with these and find the settings that work for your game so thanks for watching this tutorial i hope you find this asset helpful